12th race, final division of the Donnie and George Turner Memorial as Elm Grove Quail, Elm Grove Quigley. All to Witta Cardigan, St. Charles Fireball, Southside Eddie, and J.J. Xavier. They're off and uh, pacing all the way to Cardigan, along with Elm Grove Quigley. As they race into the first turn, Elm Grove Quigley emerging with the early lead out the rail is Elm Grove uh, Quail. Then up on the outside and uh, pressing on is St. Charles Fireball. And in the center there is all the way to Cardigan. There are three wide in behind Elm Grove Quigley, who leads them on to the opening uh, quarter. And uh, now giving way will be Elm Grove Quigley and uh, moving up to take charge all the way to Cardigan. On the inside, Elm Grove Quail emerges third. And finding a seat now is St. Charles Fireball in the four spot. Back there racing in five is J.J. Xavier. South side Eddie starting up on the outside now into fifth. They were past the quarter in 28 and two-fifths seconds. They move off the top turn. All the way to Cardigan opening up a two-and-a-half length lead as they round the top turn and travel in front of the grandstand now for the first time. It's all the way to Cardigan setting the tempo. Second is Elm Grove quickly up on the outside and moving up to third now is Southside Eddie. Also out and moving is St. Charles Fireball picking up the second over tow as they race into the lower turn on their way now to the five eights. All the way to Cardigan still the boss. Southside Eddie outside is prompting along second on the inside racing in three. Elm Grove quickly fourth out the rail. That is Elm Grove Quail outside and still gapped in the cover is St. Charles Fireball racing in a five. They arrive at the three-quarter mile mark all the way to Cardigan still in control with Southside Eddie racing along second on the inside and looking at it from a three is Elm Grove Quigley fourth out the rail for Elm Grove Quail. St. Charles Fireball is backing off and moving up on the inside. Into fifth is J.J. Xavier off the turn and into the stretch now for the final time. 127 and two was the three quarters all the way to Cardigan still out there by three all the way to Cardigan easily here the winner in the 12th south side Eddie will finish second and up for third is Elm Grove Quail. The mile in 154 and three fifths. How about that, Miles Heffern and Smoke Show aboard all the way to Cardigan there. If uh, official, if the clocking is official, 27 and 1 on the end for all the way to Cardigan. A local horse, Southside Eddie, was a gutsy second best finisher. And a big improvement there for the one, Elm Grove Quail, to come on and grab third for Paul Langeal, the favorite, the St. Charles Fireball, nowhere to be seen here, completely off the board and out of the money as uh, far as checks go here in stakes action. Uh, the winner, though, was clear all the way to Cardigan. Miles Heffernan training and driving for Jackie Heffernan, as mentioned, bred by Berkey by the Bay Stables of PEI. A new lifetime best, never better. 154 and 3. And again, if the clockers got it right, he was 27 and 1 through his final quarter to show up in the winner's circle here as the second choice at 2-1. to one. Uh, Son of Tobago Keys here. It is a fourth career win, and now he's 3-for-3. Three three. All in stakes action 2022. It appears to be a, a great season ahead here for all the way to Cardigan. Again, a huge final quarter, 27-1. and one. If the clockers got it right for a new mark in 154-3.
the back in victory lane, the winner, the final division of the Donnie and George Turner Memorial for three-year-old Colts, number three, all the way to Carnegie. They got a ton of tobacco K's out of the Mr. Big Dam, you die in Hanover. With Jackie Heffernan, trained by Miles Heffernan Jr. and driven by Miles Sr. all the way to Cardigan. Winning the final division of the Donnie and George Turner Memorial.